Time for the ridiculous. Another kind of TV uh, change. Tonight we're adding China's because of their new television guidelines. We learned today the Chinese government doesn't want any shows about time travel. This is coming from China's State Administration of Radio, Film, and Television. Now, here are the guidelines that have been released. I'll give you a moment to, uh, to look them over. Apparently, the government says TV dramas that have characters traveling through time and rewriting history go against Chinese heritage. Also frowned upon in the new guidelines, bizarre plots, absurd techniques, fantasy, and mythical stories. Now, as a former Dungeons & Dragons nerd, I can tell you this is disturbing to me on a very deep personal level. No fantasy, no mythical stories. What would I do with my multi-sided die and level six orc powers? And if you don't get the references, it just means you probably played outdoors as a child and actually had friends. I think a lot of people will be shocked by the idea of no time travel. What about the trailblazing team of Bill and Ted, who once dared to pose the question, shall we embark on an adventure and shall it be excellent? And answer, thankfully, a resounding yes, yes we shall, and oh, how excellent it was. Greetings, my excellent friends. Do you know when the Mongols ruled China? Wow. Perhaps we could ask them. Strange things afoot at the Circle K indeed. But if Bill and Ted don't do it for you, what about 2001 A Space Odyssey? Probably the greatest science fiction movie ever made. These movies that bend the space-time continuum, they capture the imagination, they make us dream, they inspire us, ask questions about ourselves, about the universe, about what it all means. Just, get, just ask Britney Spears and Kevin Federline from back when they had their reality show, Chaotic. Have you ever seen Back to the Future? Mm-hmm. Is that possible to time tra travel speed? No. Yes, it is, Kevin. Okay, but not that we know of. Well, maybe, pe I think people can do that, and I think some people are ahead of us. You know what's really sad? I actually watched that entire show. Not just that one episode, I watched the entire series. To be fair, so far I've been, it's true. It's, I've been talking, I'm such a loser. I've been talking about movies here and these new Chinese guidelines are really more focused on TV shows, which as we all know, have never really done anything involving time travel. Unless of course you're talking about The Twilight Zone, Lost, Babylon 5, The Outer Limits, My Favorite Martian, The X-Files, Star Trek, Charmed, I Dream of Genie, The Simpsons, Buffy, The Vampire Slayer, The Smurfs, Xena, Warrior Princess, Mork and Mindy, Smallville, Futurama, Bewitched, Quantum Leap. Seriously, China, no Quantum Leap? When you think about what is television really but a way to travel through time, to transport yourself to different places, different eras, different hairstyles. Uh, yeah, I, well, I didn't hear that, but I'll, I'm just going to smile and nod like a, like a local TV reporter would. Everywhere you go in Sarajevo, you're surrounded by snipers. There are hills all around, and you can hear shots from me all the time, like, like that one. That was kind of close. My name is Anderson Cooper, and I go to Dalton School, and I'm, I'm in the fifth grade. And yes, my hair was purple back then. So please, China, on behalf of Bill and Ted and Marty McFly, on behalf of Doctor Who and Captain Kirk and me in the fifth grade, try to warm up to the idea that time travel can be a good thing on TV. Do that, and we'll fire up the DeLorean and take your new guidelines off the ridiculous.